today. I blame that still on the... Yeah, it's... Oh. Oh. Yeah, it's Sunday, of course. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm a bit tired. But, um... Sickness or so, just a bit coughing. So I will go to work tomorrow. Finally. I'm actually missing work. How weird is that? Well, I had the best job ever. But I'm still missing work. I'm missing all the cool peeps at work. <laughs> cool peeps. My ti timestamp was wrong. Yeah, it came out right. Good. <laughs> well, they would have slacked off while I'm not uh, while I'm not keeping my eye on them. Just yeah, we'll post a dev diary on Sunday. Who will notice? <coughs> Actually, wait and attack there instead. Same with you. Just cut that off. Why not just take four divisions? Prisoners. Yeah, prisoners. Yeah, right. <coughs> no, don't attack there. Attack. Don't help attack you there. Attack right there. And while you're done now, attack there. And we can cut off one other piece. Why don't you research encryption? It's not worth it. Um, I don't feel the need for encryption right now. What I wanted is to break their decrypt, uh, decryption advantage. I also feel encryption is a bit more worth in uh, MP. It's worth it to research single player, but it's not at the same importance. <laughs> Will you do a campaign with Saudi Arabia? Um, I don't know, I want to play a large nation. I have one on Neo Ottoman Sweden and I have one on Fascist Sweden. Neo Ottoman Empire, not Neo Sweden. Ugh. I have one on Neo Ottoman Empire and one on Fascist Sweden. And I want to finish them before I continue anything more or start anything else. So maybe later, but not now at least. Well, encryption does pretty much make the AI more uncertain, since the AI also uses the numbers you get from details. So if you have high encryption, the AI will be more uncertain about if they can attack or not. This is quite... this. let's take half of you, actually. Only half of you. Let's make the color more distinct. You're not the red. Yeah, you are the red ones. So let's take half of you and assign them to this. Pushing more heavily on the Soviet front where we actually have supply. <coughs> and quite a lot of it. Can I upgrade you anymore? Uh, Mark 1. Alright, oh, I kept it at 1 so I wouldn't get any more penalties. I wanted 100 reliability, and engine was, yeah, why not? Mark two. We're not losing at all, so uh, at all, very much efficiency since it's the same kind of tank, just a new variant. One push in. You have two red groups. Um, yeah, of course I know that. Um, I was just seeing if you kept up. This is a yellow group. <coughs> but what is he planning to take once they capitulate? Uh, once Soviet Union is capitulating, I will first just rebuild everything I need, and then I will turn to England and help Germany. And after they are done, I will turn to Germany and kick their ass out. 
So one at a time, but I will take them down. Actually, I have supply over here, so... Or oh, you're actually not in th this army anymore, so let's push manually, right here. Since that should be going fine. Um, we're still missing a bit of artillery, but infantry equipment is doing quite well now. Let's do like this. Alright, allocation first, right there this front line and start training at least they won't finish because they will never have their artillery they need 100% equipment and 100% training to automatically deploy but um, they will at least gain all this training and when they have artillery they will have artillery as you can see now they're saying i've missed 2.2k but all i really do is miss 876 from reinforcement the rest are for the ones in the line <coughs> Let's put that on high priority also. And I wanna want you to put it right there too. And I would probably raise conscription lower. And you should probably slow down now a bit. Halt, regain some planning bonus and then continue. Do like that. How much does winter affect attrition? Uh, let's see, do we have winter still anywhere? Yeah, overall. <coughs> uh, look, um, maybe you can't see it right here. Maybe they need to have the winter attrition trait. Or it's just um, the general ones which says local province effect that are higher. I don't know actually, actually exactly how much winter itself affects. Um, I guess we can check in the summer to see how much it is at that time. Remind me of that, please. Then why do you know shadow quality options? I would like shadow but not unit building. Um, Let's actually see. Hmm. Actually, I will turn that off. Maybe the game will run a bit smoother that way. I like. I'm one. I'm one who almost never cares for shadows in games. I almost turn them off in every single game I play. They usually take way too much FPS and performance to be worth it. So I usually turn them off in yeah almost all my games you can't just march over here oh the small river god damn you're annoying freaking river <coughs> Daniel what, what's v-sync it will lock your fps to 30 uh, to 60 if possible it will not try to go over exactly what it is i'm not very sure all I know is something with 60 FPS locking. <laughs> uh, my taste, thank you for the follow. No, Mr. Taste. No, Mr. Test, thank you for the follow. And sorry for slaughtering names repeatedly. Uh, let's raise encryption law or conscription law to all adult serve. So we now have one million men <coughs> ready for action. And now, yep, you're pushing, not very hard. Let's see if I switch this around a bit more. Yep, they are a bit more active now. While you are taking it slow, a bit too slow. So come on, let's push now. Go in, stretch your legs, split it off. Looking good, looking good. I like I have way too few troops now on this front, but it seems like Italy and France, Italy and Germany is keeping that up for me. So yeah, I shouldn't complain. Daniel, where are you from? I'm from Sweden.
Let's see. Ah, oh, continue pushing. That's all I want you to do. Um, Alright, this is f fascist Poland. And seems UK got some more pushing done with their invasion and uh, Germany is quite stuck right here, but they're splitting up trying to do some st cool stuff. Uh, France is pushing in, which I do not like at all. We're gonna go, we kinda need to go and help them quite soon. It's because we're ignoring them. <laughs> they thought they had us and uh, that's why they cleared the war, but when we ignore them, it's not going that well for them. Let's build and attend level 2, or research at least. <coughs> Not Sweden, blah. Sverige. <laughs> the fascist Sweden. <laughs> fascist Sweden. Push in. Continue. Actually, it's almost decent now. We don't have to build 10 of it, but... Let's build two more. Steel, we have a surplus of 60. Holy shit. Not all of it. Let's do like that. Steel fifth. Wait, no, I'm gonna remove all of you. And we're gonna remove 24 there. Excellent, we have some more spare factories right now. We're surplus of eight of rubber, so yeah, I don't need you at all. Uh, surplus of oil, we're not importing anything. We import some tungsten, but we have a surplus of it now. So let's stop that. Oh god, I could have fixed that long ago. And ooh, look at all those factories I, I have available now. Ugh. <coughs> Fascist Sweden is only Sweden. <laughs> What does Sverige mean? Kind of Swedish Empire, but in Swedish, kind of. Shouldn't you execute the plan, Yellow Army? No, no, no. No, not at all. Um, they are way too few to guard this whole front. It's only because I want some presence in this area, along with the Germans and the Italians. It looks so weird with no, no troops here advancing, but they can't because of the river. <laughs> But does it mean anything? Yeah, Swedish Empire. Basically. No. God damn it. Accidentally marked you. So let's move in there. So we take his place. Um, you are continue pushing in. Good, good. And this is the valuable territory. This is the territory that actually have factories and all that nice stuff. So we need to take it before the Germans. Before the Germans. Germans. <laughs> <coughs> Let's actually drag this line out a bit. How long does we have supply? Alright, that's why we didn't drag it out so much. Stop it. Mark the army. It's weirding me out now. Come on. Stop messing with me. Good. And that was supplied, yeah. Actually, we could go all the way down there. <coughs> uh, Daniel, I see some troops with question mark above. Yeah, um, it's decryption. If you see question mark, it's because they have more encryption than you have decryption. You don't know what kind of units they might be. Oh my god, it's Daniel, the master boy. <laughs> I have dreams about... Stop being weird. I'm fine with a bit weirdness, but that's a bit too much weirdness. Let's see, everything is going fine, we're pushing in. Soviet, how is your surrender progress going? Going quite well, awesome. So as like as soon as this is done we'll just rush over right to the German fronts and help pushing this back. It would be really bad if they failed. 
Like, I'm not at war with them now, so I can't help them now, even if I wanted to. <coughs> it could maybe relieve some pressure from them, if I declared, if I joined their war. Maybe I should. Gaming is doing quite a lot for me. What we need to do at least take Moscow first. It's 30 victory points. It's 50 victory points. Oh, that's real nice. Maybe that would even be enough to make them fall. Maybe Moscow and uh, Leningrad and they would fall. Maybe. <coughs> it would be nice to see. Which is better, only doing support divisions or standard division with support weapons, but fewer. Um, only doing support divisions or standard division with support weapons, but I, I don't get it. Uh, you can't really do only support divisions. And standard divisions with support weapons is basically this. Is it anyway? Uh, you can't really see how many points you have captured, but I can see I'm doing 44% of the total contribution of the war. Then we have 20%, 29%. Soviet Union is at 96%. <coughs> is Japan still in the game? Uh, let's see. Yeah, Japan is doing excellently against China. They haven't even joined the Axis. I'm playing with a historical focus, so maybe something there that this game they're like, no, we don't need Germany. How many FPS do you have? I'm right now at um, at uh, 30, around 30 FPS, and I'm also streaming, so re re streaming and recording, so. I'm quite happy with my FPS count right now. I meant removing the infantry and only putting AI tank. Um, that wouldn't work. That wouldn't work at all. Um, you would have way too, uh, way too low organization to be able to do anything. Um, that was two very, very stupid attacks. Um, this is pushing, this is pushing. Good. Let's try bring this bring them down now. I can't really just rush for Moscow. We really have to fight for each and every province. And the Soviets are paying a very high price for it. But they can pay that price much longer than me. <coughs> It was awful, Free American Empire died so fast. Oh, you mean in your game. X, Wes X, thank you for the follow. This is a much nicer tempo in the chat than during the release. <laughs> Are you working late? Are you working on late game lag? I don't know actually. Well, I couldn't say yes, of course we're doing it. But uh, I haven't been at work for, well, over a week, if you don't count the release day, since I've been sick. And Japan joined the Axis right now. That could probably help a lot if they joined the war against the Soviet Union. And, really, <coughs> all you units, quickly as hell, go and cover that front. Ignore whatever order I gave you here. And now they join the war. And they have free opening right into my territory. God freaking damn it. Let's redraw it a bit. Freaking Japan making Sinkai so scared. Alright, we took that focus right. <coughs> so, um, guys, please hurry a bit more. There was a patch note about late game performance fixes. 
Awesome. Well, they don't attack, so it would be okay because they want some planning bonus before they attack. And yes, they attack. They've already taken a couple territories. Let's see. Um, next anti tank, since we have some mm, some spare, so we can take the time to upgrade it. And let's continue with artillery, since we're using a lot of artillery. Um, otherwise, it's doing qu quite well now. Uh, how is supply? It's fine, so let's push with the yellow units too. And all of you, you're almost done. We just need a couple more heavy tanks. <coughs> and all of you troops are doing quite well since we're f we're fine now with artillery desific. Holy front line. Uh, two is under our control. Soviet Union is losing more and more territory. We just have to push in now. Continue pushing very hard. It will lose so much troops. Italy is almost at 1 million. We're at 560k. Germany is at 700. We have lost. Holy shit. We began. We have lost more than the amount we had the entire time since we began. We began at like 260k or something. We're at now at. I don't want to think about it. Uh, Kramatize, thank you for the follow and sorry for slotting your name. Recon level 2, excellent. Uh, night attack, not yet. Level 3, oh yeah, we can do level 3, so let's do it. And here they cut off. <laughs> cut the units of my allies off, and yeah, we can't. We need to deal, deal with it now. Save them, or at least try to save them. <coughs> and that yellow front was just ridiculous. Let's just make it a bit more ridiculous. Uh, it goes right here, all the way down here. Stop it. And you are finally there, so let's execute that order now. Actually, they just arrived and they don't have any planning bonus, so... Let's stay there for a while. Let's do engineering level 2. And let's actually not do it. Field hospitals. We will start needing to recover that manpower losses. <coughs> Come on, Moscow. You're mine. Turkish forces will take Moscow. Not German. Not anything. Actually, the first Turkish heavy tank division should be able to take Moscow. So let's do like this. Let's force deploy it. And you can just be at the same priority as everything else now. Come on. I want I want the first tank division to take Moscow. Oh, they have done the Moscow defense, so they have forts pretty much everywhere around Moscow. <coughs> Under one mil low manpower. <laughs> uh, supply issues, none at all. A bit here in Shinkai, but. That should be solved as soon as we push in. And now ca Canadian troops, Soviet troops and all kinds of troops have arrived here. God damn it, I wanted to deal with them bef <coughs> deal with them before that happened. God damn, my horse is crackling. Stupid cough. We're pretty much at war at all fronts except this one. And I would really like to avoid it. For as long, long as I can. That's why I want to finish off Soviet Union before that happens. Uh, where's my tank division? There you are. 
you're gonna help pushing to Moscow now. <coughs> Your stats are pretty good. Still, you still you're missing 20 tanks. But um, come on, let's push in now. You're gonna do the finishing blow. Oh, that sound. That's that's just. It just felt really nice when they attacked. <coughs> so everyone in. They're <laughs> all those penalties. Let's split up and cut to the right and left of Moscow too. That sound, so nice. Thanks. Sounds awesome. <laughs> you're pushing in very slowly, but you are pushing, or you're not pushing at all actually. They are ki they are holding the ground. We're gonna need to put more troops into that front. Um, actually, never mind. You are still gonna push. Not that you. Um, all of you are gonna be deployed to the yellow front instead. Or m not all of you, but some of you. And the rest of you to the red front. <coughs> so I deployed them a bit early, but... No, I don't wanna destroy all of them, I wanna call back. So I have 850k. Norske <coughs> TB, uh, thank you for the follow. How many hours do you guys have? I have a ton of hours. We took Moscow. We took Moscow. Soviet Union is capitulating, not now, but quite soon. Let's redraw this line to be towards Leningrad now. And your push focus is gonna be right up here. And we're starting to surround all the troops down here. Um, but we actually let them sneak by here. Are they taking back Stalin? <coughs> That'd be quite bad. Regaining all that trust and natural unity. We can't accept that. So we are at the Soviet front on both fronts. <laughs> And you, yellow guys, are you all there yet? No. So we're gonna push forward when we can. <coughs> Does the game hang for anyone during World War? No, no, uh, it's quite fine for me. The fall of... Holy shit! I've not kept up looking at this. Germany is falling. They're falling fast. Yeah, we need to join them right now. But we can't deploy anyone. Since we ha don't have anyone to, s to deploy there. Um, all you yellow guys, uh, let's be generous. Half of those 15, all those extra divisions that are moving forward. Quickly, please, please help Germany. <coughs> as fast as you possibly can. So they're going through... Oh, they're going through this territory. And to the German front. So, yeah. That's not good. That's not good at all. Stupid France. They're so strong right now. France is so strong. <coughs> we won't be able to beat them back. This is bad. This is really, really bad. I'm gonna take my best commander even. Well, it's gonna take so long before they actually arrive there. So... <coughs> Oh, right. Watch out for Rai. I need to redeploy more troops here, too. 
And I need to look here. This is not going super well. Half of you are gonna redeploy to the right. Actually, half of you, new new order, or new command group, and deploy right there. Half of you are gonna split off. And again, the same thing here. And yeah, we're at war with... Did we not accept that war? Call to arms. No, 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 we did not do it. Not yet. <coughs> so yeah, as soon as possible. Six divisions. Oh right, I took divisions from this front. That's not what I wanted. But all of you, as all of you that can deploy here. <coughs> Fall of Rome, holy shit, we will actually lose this war. We will actually lose this war. If I never joined the war. I never joined the war then I'm fine ten more divisions here I will just simply not join the war fuck Germany Germany can die I don't care who cares about the Germans <coughs> Germany, you goofed, and now you pay for it. I don't care. You can die. I simply won't save you. I would probably lose if I tried to save Germany, so I simply won't save them. Like, Germany got stuck in the, stuck in the war against Soviet Union, and they lost because of it. They could never finish the war. <coughs> So yeah, Germany, die. Germany, Italy can just die. But isn't the UK trying to declare war on you? Yeah, they can declare war on me, but they will have to do it then. And for now, I will just try to finish the war with Soviet Union, so yeah, I can actually deal with them. Right now, I need all my forces right here. So I need to finish them off really quickly before they come for me. And of course I forgot this front. 16 divisions, make a new one. And stay right there. Along with him. 